also known as the Mexican hairless dog or just the Sholo, the Sholo eats Quintly is a breed of hairless dogs. They're an ancient breed that may as well have descended from the first dogs to set paw on the North American continent. Their name comes from the Nahudi language, where Sholo T is the name of the god of fire and lightning, and its quaintly means a dog. The Aztecs once considered these dogs sacred, however, the present day Sholos make for some loving and vigilant companions. Now, without further delay, let's dive right into the list of top 10 interesting facts about the Sholo It's Quintly. Number 1. Their History The Sholo is considered to be a natural dog breed that was probably the result of a spontaneous genetic mutation. Archaeological evidence found in Colima, Mexico, dating back to over 3,500 years ago, shows the existence of dogs similar to the Sholo, making the breed one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. Ancient native cultures of South America highly valued these dogs, which is evidenced by the frequent appearance in their art and artifacts. Subsequently, European explorers, including Christopher Columbus, made mentions of these dogs in their journals des describing them as strange, hairless dogs. The breed is viewed as a national treasure in Mexico and was designated as a cultural heritage and a symbol of Mexico City. However, the breed is not historically well known in the United States and have often been mistaken for the mythical chupacabras of Mexico. Number 2. They almost went extinct. The AKC first registered the Sholate Squintly as the Mexican hairless dog in 1887. The breed enjoyed a period of popularity for quite a while until it subsequently died down in the early 1900s. Not much was heard of the Sholo until 1940 when a dog named Chinto Jr. became the first and only Sholo to earn an AKC championship status. Back then, these dogs were so in demand that pet stores could barely keep them in stock. However, the Sholo once again dropped from view so much so that the AKC deregistered it in 1959. Fans of the breed worked to bring it back from the brink of extinction, saving the breed from disappearing altogether. Today, there are only approximately 30,000 of them worldwide. Number 3. They were part of ancient culture. Indigenous people of Mexico regarded Cholos as guardians and protectors and believed that these dogs would safeguard their home from evil spirits and intruders. Ancient tribes including the Maya and the Toltec often sacrificed and then buried these dogs with their owners to act as guides to the soul on its journey to the underworld. Ceramic representations of the breed known as Kalama dogs have also been found in hundreds of burial sites. At the same time, these dogs were also valued as home and hunting companions. Unfortunately, they were also considered a delicacy. 16th century Spanish accounts tell us of a large number of dogs being served at banquets. Number 4. Aztecs believed them to be gifts from God According to Aztec mythology, Sholo dogs were gifted to humanity by God. The Aztecs believed that the god Xoloti made the Sholo its quintly from a silver of the bone of life from which all of the mankind was made. Xoloti gifted this dog to mankind with the instruction to guard the dog with his life. In exchange, the dog would guide man through the dangers of Midian, the world of death, towards the evening star in the heavens. Thus, Sholos were once considered sacred dogs and were highly valued. Number 5. They don't have the best appearance When you first see a Sholo, you're most likely not to admire what you see. The wrinkled brow, squinty eyes, satellite dish ears, rat-like tail and mohawk bisecting the top of their head are not exactly considered attractive by everyone. Yet their hairlessness also makes them look like they don't have the universal appeal of a dog with a long, silky and fluffy coat. However, if you take a closer look, you'll see a lean, sturdy, well-muscled dog with the expression of a smart and lively canine companion. Their almond-shaped eyes range in color from yellow to black, and their big erect ears have an elegantly thin and delicate texture. Sholo puppies might even have a wrinkly body, but their skin smooths out as they grow. Number 6. They have a great personality. The Sholoid Squintly's primitive temperament is characterized by a very high intelligence, sensitivity, high energy, inquisitiveness, and strong hunting and social instincts. Adult Sholos are calm dogs that act aloof towards strangers but attentive towards their family. At the same time, puppies can be extremely energetic, noisy, and very oral until they reach maturity at about two years old, after which they tend to settle down. A properly raised Sholo puppy grows up to become a steady, well-behaved, an affectionate companion. These guys bond strongly with their owners and become highly devoted to their families, although they've been known to play favorites and choose one specific family member to devote much of their attention to. Number 7. Their Coated Varieties 
In Sholoit's Quinlees, hairlessness is a dominant trait and the recessive expression of the trait produces a coated variety. Coated Sholos are covered with a short, flat, and dense coat that is said to represent the original form of the breed before the spontaneous hairless mutation occurred. Another physical trait that sets coated variety apart from the hairless one is their teeth structure. While coated Sholos have complete dentition, hairless Sholos have an incomplete set of teeth. Both varieties occur in all hair or skin colors, with the most common colors including black, gray, bronze, yellowish blonde, blue, and red. The breed also occurs in a range of sizes which has been standardized into three designations. The three sizes have been named standard, which is more than 18 to 23 inches tall, miniature 14 to 18 inches tall, and toy, which is at least 10 to 14 inches tall. Number 8 they're not hypoallergenic. People often assume that Sholos are hypoallergenic dogs just because they're hairless. However, this is not true as dog allergies are caused by saliva, skin, dander, and not just hair. Although many people who suffer from dog allergies don't have a problem with Sholos, this is far from universal. If you suffer from allergies, it's best to spend some time with one of these dogs to see whether or not they cause reactions to you. Number 9. They need regular grooming. You might think that a hairless dog needs little to no grooming, but that is not the case. Although Sholos clean themselves like cats and are unlikely to get fleas, they still need some grooming. This is because they sweat through their skin and paw pads, making it important to keep those areas clean. Remember to wash your Sholos feet weekly to ensure that the sebaceous glands remain unclogged. Bathe your dog every couple of weeks and don't forget to wipe off the sunscreen after your Sholo has been outside. Younger Sholos may also suffer from adolescent acne, so they may need special skin care at times. Number 10. They are a hardy breed. Sholos are healthy dogs and there have not been any serious genetic diseases discovered in the breed. However, their hairlessness means they need extra care. Sholos need protection from the sun and extremely cold weather. Remember to apply dog-friendly sunscreen all over your Sholo, especially so if your pooch is lightly colored. And don't leave them out for too long. When it's cold or snowy, give them a warm sweater or coat, and when indoors, let them go naked to prevent overheating or clogging of their pores. Alright folks, that marks the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Sholo It's Quinley. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've had any experience living with one of these hairless pooches, let us know your story in the comments below. Do leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.